My name is Galit Rubin, and I'm the founder of Dogs Without Borders Rescue. Dogs Without Borders has been around since 2006. Our mission is to rescue as many dogs as possible from high kill shelters. Since 2006, we have rescued over 2,500 dogs. There's so many wonderful, adoptable dogs that end up in our city's shelters, and they are at risk of euthanasia. People who are looking for dogs don't realize that they can go to the shelters and rescue groups to find their perfect companion instead of going to a breeder. These wonderful dogs can be their best friends and can be found right here um, you know, in Los Angeles from our rescue group. If someone's looking to adopt a dog, there's plenty of ways to do so. They can go on our website at dogswithoutborders.org and look at a bunch of adoptable dogs right from our, our website and they can apply directly online and someone will contact them and tell them how to meet the dog. They can also come to our adoption events on weekends. We have two adoption events every weekend in Hollywood and near Beverly Hills. They can come and meet the dog in person. They can take it for a walk. Uh, if they like it, they can apply for it and be interviewed right on the spot. We do have a low adoption fee and it's tax deductible because we are a nonprofit. Our dogs are vaccinated, microchipped, and spayed and neutered and are in good health. Anyone can adopt a dog through Dogs Without Borders. We are looking for people that can provide a good home for the dog. Uh, each dog is very different. They have different personalities and different needs. And that application process helps us understand uh, how to best match a dog with the right family. There's some dogs that are great with kids and some dogs that are not, and some dogs don't mind being left alone for very long. Uh, some dogs do. So we know our dogs pretty well and we can make the right match for any applicant. Hi, I'm Heidi and I adopted a dog about a year ago, last November, and she has become the love of my life. My partner and I saw this one little dog and they said, oh, you can adopt her for the night, foster her. And I said, no, we can't have a dog. So they encouraged us and we took her just for a couple nights and of course, so we fell in love with her and went through the process from fostering to adopting her. It was very seamless and easy and they took care of all the medical stuff for Chacha is her name. She's a little wiener dog. Um, all of the uh, exams and everything by the veterinarian were covered and we got a healthy little dog. I, when I thought about getting a dog, I thought, oh, I'd go to a breeder, but you don't have to. You can just go down to Dogs Without Borders and pick out a healthy purebred animal sometimes. I mean, it's um, really beneficial also to the dog because I, when I think about Cha-Cha and she was trying to find a home for a few months living in a little wire crate with no love and now she has all the love in the world and just for her I just think about all the dogs that get adopted from here go from a little dismal experience to a life full of love it's like hitting the lottery for a dog for me, making a positive difference in the lives of other people is important to me, and I never thought of volunteering for a dog shelter would make a difference in the way that it has. And just seeing the dogs get adopted and um, knowing that their lives are changing gives me a small piece of hope for the other dogs that are waiting to be rescued. And you know, it's, it's very easy and um, it's drawn me in. The whole process has made me want to help other dogs get what my Chacha has. I would say the main challenge we face in trying to get dogs adopted is that a lot of times when they come out of the shelters, they do come out with issues. They don't just come out healthy, happy, go lucky dogs. They need some work. They are rescued, neglected dogs. Um, they haven't been treated very well at all times. So we work with them a little bit and get them to up to that adoptable state. Once we do, of course, uh, we need more homes. We need more foster homes. That's the biggest challenge. There are so many dogs and as long as dogs are getting euthanized at the shelters, there are just not enough homes for them. So we encourage people to come out and adopt. Without foster parents, we cannot save a dog because we are a foster-based rescue. We don't have a kennel where we keep all our dogs caged up. When a foster home opens up, we go out and rescue a dog 
put it in the foster home and the foster parent treats the dog like it's its own. But we provide the food, the medical care, it's free to foster and they help give it love and care and then we show it at adoption events in hopes to get adopted. Uh, my name is Emma Parker Bowles and I've been fostering for Dogs Without Borders for about four years. To become a foster you fill out an application. You know, so if someone's very active then they'll foster a dog that likes hiking. If they're more of a homebody then we'll uh, match them up with a dog that's more of a lap dog. And it's just the healing power of love and it's been so worthwhile because you can some of the dogs need to be rehabilitated more than others, especially when they're fresh out the shelter. So you get them when they're fresh out the shelter and often they're very broken, they're very frightened, sometimes they've been abused and you literally watch them blossom like a rose in the sun because you love them and some, some of them have never been hugged or kissed before. Unlike different rescues, all our dogs that we get off death row from the high kill shelters go into a loving foster home. We don't put them into kennels. So fostering a dog is a very important part of the process because apart from it being much nicer for the dog, it also helps us learn what the dog's temperament is, if it likes cats, if it likes children, so that when it goes on to be adopted, we can tell the potential adoptee more about the dog because we've had a foster get to know it. Fostering is a great way to help a dog um, without making a permanent commitment. We provide food, basic supplies, medical care, so it's free to our fosters. Um, it's super easy. We provide all the support and guidance needed. Uh, all we ask is that you give it some love and basic care and you can foster for as long as you can. We ask for a two-week commitment but you know if, of course it doesn't work out in your home we ask for a little turnaround time and we'll find another situation for the dog. So our fosters are well cared for. They have a good network and good support program where you know we thank them so much and we're so appreciative to having them as the lifeline to our dogs. Many people out there always say, if I could help those dogs at the shelters, I would take them all. If I could avoid dogs from being euthanized, or if I had a farm, or a big yard, or if I had a lot of money, or won the lottery, you don't need to win the lottery, you don't need to have a big yard. You can just start by fostering one dog. If you foster one dog, you can save one life at a time. For more information about us, please visit Dogs Without borders.org. Another great place to visit is by liking our Facebook page. We post the latest rescues and the newest stories and um, it's a great way to get involved and instantly uh, be a part of our organization.